Hi, my name is Petrovskas, creator of the local trade copper. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the local trade copper on your computer. I should mention that the same type of installation can be used on, on your remote computers like virtual private servers, uh, VPS or dedicated servers or whatever machine you have. You know, if it's Windows uh, operated machine, then you can you can have local trade copper and your MetaTrader platform installed on there. So okay, so I have the file in there, so I will have to go through the installation. So I open um, open the, the the archive and it will hold a few files. So first there will be a readme file. So I recommend reading you this file. It will take you just a couple of minutes. And then we have two files. Uh, named auto installers. So the first, the, you know, one auto installer is for server EA, and the other one is for client EA. So obviously, the server EA should be installed on all the MetaTrader platforms that you want to act as a server, as as a master platform, kind of a master account, uh, a provider account, or or other other like to call them senders. As well, so there are a lot of names for that, but obviously it's just one, you know, simply the server account. So um, I just click, double click on that. It will open. It will open the window. It will prepare for installation. And what's happening right here is that it have scanned my computer to find all the MetaTrade instances that I have. So once I get this. Um, Next button, I just click it, and then I have, you know, have this huge list of MetaTrader platforms. You know, yes, I have, I have that many. So, um, I now I need to to look for MetaTrader dash one. It could be a challenge when you have so many. Let's take a look at this list. Here we go. This will be my master account. So I click next, all the files done extracting, I click next again, and then I can check this box to run the MetaTrader, but it says that it will launch MetaTrader in administrator mode. So I'm not sure what type of configuration you have on your computer, but usually I don't recommend starting MetaTrader like that, uh, because MetaTrader has this funny behavior, you know, if you run it as an administrator, one time and you create your account, log in, you know, prepare a configuration and, and so on. And then if, you know, if the next time you will start MetaTrader, uh, you know, just simple like that, you know, not as administrator, but as a regular user, then the MetaTrader will ask you to log in to your previously created account. It will kind of, uh, you know, forget your login information. Uh, or you will have to create your account from from the beginning, you know, from the start. So basically, it's you know, I'm not sure why is it happening, but it happens. So I just recommend not to run this, and you know, unless you are the administrator, you know, you you the administrator user on the computer. So I click finish, and installation for server EA is done. I click uh, double click on the client, auto installer, do the same. It will scan the computer and then I will find three MetaTrader platforms that will act as client. So I will select this one and let's find the one with the dash three. Here we go. And then the last one with the dash four. Here we go. Okay, so I click next and now all the uh, all the files were extracted to all these three meta traders and here they are it will give kind of a summary where the local trade copper was installed i click finish and it's it's done you know now for some reason if you are unable to use auto installer you can just go to mql4 folder inside the MQL4 folder and there you will find the experts, indicators and libraries folders. So inside these folders, you know, there are EA files that you can just copy to a MetaTrader data folder and then there is indicators file 
where you know they act as straight filters and then there is this folder called libraries so inside there are two very important files so if you copy you know files manually to your metatrader platforms please do not forget these files local treat copper will not work without these DLL libraries okay so the most easy installation when you have uh, you know this you can just copy this folder then you can open your MetaTrader, go to File, Open Data Folder, and then simply just paste the folder in there, you know, just like that. Now, obviously, because I already have my uh, local trade copper installed uh, using the auto installer, you know, we just did that a minute ago. It asked me if I want to replace the file because they already exist, you know, but basically, if there were no installation it wouldn't ask me to replace anything. But I click replace and I, you know, it just installed them again. So in this case, I just copied both uh, client and EA and server EA to, to the first MetaTrader instance. Okay, so uh, also this, this folder documentation and inside you will find documents about kind of instruction manuals. So please look carefully through them, you know. So if you're in a hurry, you don't like to read instruction manuals, you know, I would just recommend at least reading you a quick installation guide. And uh, if you're someone who just wants to know everything about the software, or maybe you've read quick installation guide, you start using the software and you face some issues like you don't know how to configure one or the other thing, you know, how to set up you know, for different environments or whatever, um, then you should look at the installation and instruction manual. This is full installation and instruction manual for the local treat copper, both server EA and client EA. Also, there's this document which shows what's new in the local treat copper recent version. At this point, it's 2.8. And then there are these important files server EA settings and client EA settings. So these files hold all the detailed explanation of each of the parameters that you will find in the client and server EA. And also I have this ebook that I wrote a couple of months ago and I call it how to open identical trades on many MetaTrader accounts at once. So I have these in three kind of Two, two languages, you know, I have this in English and in Spanish, but then Spanish is in two versions, you know. So, okay, I hope the documentation will be helpful, but even if you can read that, you know, uh, but you are quite computer savvy and you have some experience with MetaTrader and expert advisors, I'm sure you will be able to use the EA without reading the instruction manual. Okay, so that's it for the installation. I will just show you how uh, EAs appear on MetaTrader. So here's my first MetaTrader and uh, I have no EAs obviously because MetaTrader was running at the time that I did the installation. So I'll just click my mouse right button right here and choose refresh. So it will refresh and here we go. We have server and client. And let's go to the second instance. I do refresh. Here's the client. So I can I can do this for all the instances and just see if my installation was successful. Yes, I have all all of these four platforms with local trade copper right now. So one most important step is to make sure that the configuration is correct of the MetaTrader. So important step is to enable auto trading right here. And additionally, you should go to tools, options, and then open the expert advisors tab. So there will be uh, this first allow automated trading should be enabled, you know, it should be checked. And then you should have allow DLL imports checked as well. So those are the most important things. Um, additionally, I, I just like to disable events, but it's up to you. And uh, I also disable news just to make, you know, I don't need them, so I just disable to make to use less computer resources. So if you have many MetaTraders, it helps. Okay, so that will be it for this MetaTrader. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, let's go to options. 
events disabled, news disabled, and then expert advisors tab, I allow automated trading and allow the LL imports. Click OK. There we go. Let's take a look at the third one. All good. There we go. Allow automated, allow the LLs. OK. And the four, number four. There we go. Everything seems to be okay. So we'll go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.